Like me and Chet are the. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You've got, he's gone insane because he's been stuck in this airport for like seven hours or whatever waiting for me and the boys to come. Yo, the guy that sat behind me, right? He's been here for seven hours straight. I was here seven hours ago and he was sat there. He's still here now. Mate. Is he still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And he keeps staring at you. I think he's got beef with you. Chip has spilt coffee before we've even got on the brand new merch and he's everyone's only got one. Bro, we've got promo videos tomorrow. I've got to wear it on the holiday. I've got to wear this on the tour. That is a top 10 howler. Oh, I need myself. I wonder if I could get a dry clean wrap. No. No, it's done. It's done, oh. Chip. Just a couple first class merchants. It feels disgusting to be down here with you lot. Feels funny Ooh. down here. Look, this is a well rested <laughs> man. Try it. I'm like 30,000 feet in the air and I'm about to have a shower. Right. It stops here. You don't get to see anymore. Look at this thing. I don't want to close my eyes I don't want to fall asleep Cause I'll miss you babe <laughs> <laughs> Arrived. Chip got interrogated. You got interrogated? Yeah, Chip got, Chip got the little finger up there. Yeah, I did. He was like, what kind of videos do you make then? And I was like, well, you sometimes don't. I do cooking videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking good. Neither of my bags are here. What do your bags have in? They have the, the equipment to record the podcast in. And why are we out here right now? To tour for the podcast. <laughs> got the luggage, baby. I was shooting myself for a moment, I won't lie. Morning. Wow. I'm up at 7 a.m. The first time for everything. No, no. Yeah, okay. First day on the tour. We're going to the zoo to meet the animals. We've got our first bit of Australian wildlife. Where? Where? I'm not, I'm not sure it. if you're making a joke. It's Elliot. That little weird. Go and say hi to it. No. It's got like a grim reaper beak. You should never put your own name on it because they'll get it wrong on purpose and try and bait an Instagram story out of you and they weren't having me today. <laughs> oh. name. I did say Don Crime. So Elliot, was it nice to have a cheeseless sleep, mate? Yeah, it was great to have no scent of cheddar <laughs> wafting through my <laughs> airwaves. Lads, I've got to question one thing. Sure. What's going on here? We're just uh, promoing the new drop, 165th floor. See you up there. Who do you think's wearing it better? Um, I don't know. I'll let the comments decide. This is actually dirtier than the Thames. Shit water, innit? Not giving them great PR, are you? No, I love Australia. So what are your first thoughts of Brisbane? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It really is. It just captured the essence of the world. It's, it was the centre of the universe, this is it. I could see myself settling down here with a family of ten. <laughs> Why ten? Maximum benefits from the council. When we come back to Brisbane and we up the capacity, this is where it's going to be. You know, ten minutes in the blocks on a brothel already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can like listen into the police being like, for 360 Australian dollars. That's, that's, that's a bargain. Yeah. We got a one niner over here. <laughs> <laughs> what even is a one niner? Try and pick that up. I mean that. <laughs> yeah, let's take it. Let's it's like that. Paul's hammer. <laughs> I moved it. I'm worthy. Are you going to be able to carry that? Yeah. We have no options. We have to. What about this? Generator acquired. We've got it. We need to get a route so we're always connected to the internet. Do you even know where you're going? No. Nope. Don't want to follow me. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Why are we running? It's just a route. <laughs> I've got such an itchy asshole. <laughs> what? Yeah. I didn't clean it probably. Of course, we're waiting for Chip as always. This guy has never been on time once in his life. But we are getting ready to go to the to the zoo to see the kangaroos. Do you reckon you stand a chance? Against a kangaroo? Yeah, absolutely. Luckily, it's not real. Otherwise, they would be breakfast. Listen, when I put the burners on... DRS? Yeah, when I put yeah, when the VTEC kicks in, I'm gone. Theo Baker's in. There is a spider on Hackney's hat. Wait, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you give it back. There's a chicken with a Hawaiian necklace around its neck. If you hold one, you get chlamydia. 
What? Is that true? Yeah, that's how I got it. So, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go on. Off the bat, well older. Because it's called a corn snake, it sounds friendly. Yeah. Everyone likes corn. Yeah. Hello, then, boy. He's vibing. This has the capabilities of, of biting. Yeah, but there's no venom. Oh, go for it. So if you just hold it out your hands like so. He's pretty lazy, so he doesn't hold on too tight. Do you want to have a go? Yeah, you do. Just, just, and then just bring that hand up to his back. You can like give him a hug. Yeah, he's going to sleep. This is mad. No, he's just chilling. You could tell though, these claws would hurt. Oh, Milo, you're so chill. What a guy. He'll leave you smelling a bit like a koala too. Cause yeah, I can smell the koala smell. Yeah. It's pressed on your shirt, so you're going to smell like that for the rest nice. of the day. <laughs> nice. Nice. Some people like it. 165th floor merch. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah, I've got a little bit of oil on me. Yeah, that might not be oil, that might be something else. <laughs> oh, oh look, Bo is panicking. <laughs> Oh, he's, oh, he's squeezing. He's pissed on me. Yeah, I think he did it on me a bit. Well. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> I rate that. Uh, I, I, I would like to be pissed on. Yeah, he's so chill. Yeah. One, two, one. Sorry to wake you up from your slumber. <gasps> did you want to hold this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. A little bit, little bit of koala piss. <laughs> I feel like it's a stain of honor. Supposedly they chill up on trees. So I'm locked. I'm locked in. Just surrounded by trees. My right? <laughs> hate. Is that a snake over there? Yeah. It's a long green one. Round me up. Yeah, there, there's some pace behind that one. He just had some of my food. Oh, they're so ungreedy. <laughs> ungreedy. I, this is the good shit. This is like McDonald's for kangaroos. You gotta trick him with the placebo. Tell him it's Wagyu. Wagyu. Grade 5. Compliments to the chef. Yeah. What do you not fancy it, people? The more you know. It's called a growth mindset, brother. What's been your biggest life lesson? To savor the good times, because you could die any moment. Why have you sought this one out? It's just a bit different, isn't it? Do you relate to it in some way? I'm not ginger. Oh. I don't like the look of that. This one looks sad. Bro, I can't even sleep on the plane. He's able to sleep on a fucking stick. Sounds like my missus. <laughs> Where's your burger gone? <laughs> he's just eating Harry's burger. He's gone to the toilet and he's going to come back to a mashed up burger. <laughs> you can't figure out how to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> These things crack me up. Oh, my. Oh. The, the ones that eat humans. Oh, wait, yeah. that's human. Bro, oh, they do the photos. Yeah. Hear me out. The boy. Come on, DJ. It's such like thick skin. Is it bulletproof? Definitely not. Oh, because they hunt them, don't they? Well, that the mm. Put your hand right in there. Beautiful. He's opening it up for you. You feel soft, Oh, he's got his hand in the crevices. Yeah, cop the feel, man. Look at him going for it. He tends to like it. It's not weird, isn't it? It's just really weird to go. Yeah. The question is, who has got a longer neck? Wow, the cameraman just came for you, bro. I, he actually does. He has the longest neck. Oh. Bro, can't even walk. There's no way I'm about to experience seeing my brothers out there. They're so nice to look at. They're yeah. beautiful. This is no joke, you know. Oh, wow, they have a really te a technique of it. What a tongue, dude. They don't play. This one wants some? Yeah, oh, I got the small ones going in there. Oh, I got two of them on me. I got the best leaves on the market. Oh, yeah, you want shrimp and Oh, boy. I really hope there's an animal in this zoo called Jeff. If you were here earlier, this could be all yours. <laughs> Oh, sorry, boss. You gotta give it to him. <laughs> Currently heading to the Crocodile Hunter Lodge. We're doing a podcast here. Um, what have we got on? We've got. Um, we're going to be chatting to a couple of people that work within the Australia Zoo, and also people that know Steve Owen really well. Well, knew him really well. This is actually our first ever recorded pod outside of the studio. This is really big steps in a small world. One small step for man. One huge step for the fucking boys. In Zoo, which is the largest wildlife hospital in the Southern Hemisphere. We just wrapped up a pod at the Australian Zoo. And it was a banger. You're still trying to steal my show, you know. That was a Don Cram show and you just stole it. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want it now. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't uh, want it. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. We've just finished that. 
but the grind does not stop because we're heading to the next podcast that we're about to do, but we're still waiting on Airbnb details that we don't have to do, so we might not, not even get there. into the Airbnb where we need to film it's this next podcast. Good. It is not looking good, bro. Oh, you know, we just got to stretch it out, man. Say, you? No, what's up, buddy? Hi, mate. Yeah, nice to see you, man. How's it going, bro? This is what a fun one. Oh, this is such a fucking banger. Holy shit. I was gonna try and like take you around my joint to impress you, but this kind of this place is nuts. Jamie, Jamie put some meetings. money behind the bar, so technically we paid for people to come. Uh, We're about to go to the first meetup. Our first meetup in Brisbane. I'm excited. Also, I need to shit. What time do you call this? I'm not, uh, it says I'm only four minutes late. Yeah. We don't actually know what the fuck we've got planned this evening, and that's why the tickets are free, okay? Midwood, best screen of skull right there. You know? I got here and I did three shots. Cal's got here and he hasn't done one. So. If you don't rock up to the Sydney meal with the I'm coming to Sydney, bro. I'm coming You're cancelled. Okay. <laughs> Shake on it. Yep. This is going on YouTube. Yeah, this is going on fucking YouTube. <laughs> he says he'll get a tattoo. I'm is he going to do it? Yeah! yeah! There's a good bunch here. Everyone seems to be trying to get me wasted. Are you going to get wasted? Uh, no. No, no, no. no. Uh, I'm busy. I'm going to train for the charity match. I'm going to be healthy. That's all right! Right on I will pay for you both to go to London. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of it, it will be a game of split or steal. Oh. If you choose to steal, you will get six hundred pounds. I don't have a pickup line, but you're just the most beautiful girl that I've ever seen. Oh. I'm gonna take you on a date. When Buzz Lightyear said, "Reach for the stars," you took that literally. Bye. 
first fan meet up? How'd it yeah, go? I'm absolutely fucking peppered. See you, See you later, boys. See you later, boys. Yeah.